All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to talk about the Jets and, uh, well, most recently signing uh, Tyron Smith. Um, but we'll also get into, you know, the other moves that they made uh, to try to bolster this offensive line. So um, so they signed Tyron Smith, 33 years old, um, played his entire career with the Cowboys. Um, him, He's going to be playing left tackle. Uh, let me see if I can find the the specifics of the contract because I thought I had them here in my notes, but um, I don't think I do. So I think it's a two-year contract, if I'm not mistaken, uh, of course, and the, the one thing I look at doesn't show the specifics of the deal. But I think it's a two-year contract, um, and I think this was a good move for the Jets. I mean, they ha- oh, it's a one-year deal, one-year deal, my mistake. One-year deal worth up to, I think it said $20 million. Uh, that is... If it'll load. Yes, that's correct. Worth up to $20 million. Um, and this was a move that the Jets had to make um, because their offensive line last year was, you know, you could look at as the reason why Aaron Rodgers ended up tearing his Achilles. Um, and this is important. And this was the third offensive lineman that the Jets have brought in. They traded for Morgan Moses, and they also signed uh, John Simpson, a guard. So the Jets have addressed the offensive line in the offseason. But it's weird because Joe Douglas said that the offensive line, didn't he say that it was fine earlier in the offseason? Well, obviously it's not fine, and the Jets made some big moves. Um, So really right now their offensive line, you're going to have Tyron Smith, uh, John Simpson, Joe Tipman, uh, Vera Tucker, Elijah Vera Tucker coming back from injury, hopefully uh, he bounces back, and Morgan Moses. That's going to be your offensive line, and it's going to be a lot different than what it was in 2023 so you're hoping for the best and again if everybody stays healthy then Aaron Rodgers is going to have you would think solid protection in 2024 um but again that's a big if Tyron Smith's a guy that has dealt with a ton of injuries over the course of his career and I think I did a segment on him not too long ago um but he was relatively healthy in 2023 um he did play well he played in 13 games so he did miss some time but still 13 games is good for him um that's really yeah and then you know the three seasons before that 2022 he played in four games um 2021 he played in 11 2020 he played in two and then from 2016 to 2019 he played in 13 games and then from 2011 to 2015 uh, other than 2012, he played in 15, so he missed one game. But I guess, actually, no, I shouldn't say that because the Cowboys didn't clinch a playoff spot. They went 8-8 eight and eight that season. Um, yeah, he missed one game in 2012. Um, yeah, because if you remember, 2011 to 2013, they three straight years going 8-8 eight and eight and losing to every single, every other team in the division uh, for the division title. Uh, the Giants was 2011. Um, at the time, the Redskins was 2012. And then 2013 was uh, the Eagles when uh, when Kyle Orton was the starter. If you remember that, I remember watching that game, and I actually was like kind of upset when Dallas lost. And I'm like, why am I upset? I don't. I, I guess because I, I I don't know. Um, I don't know. I felt bad for Jason Witten. I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, but um, yeah. Look at me saying that. Um, but um, yeah. So. Um, after 2015, yeah, he missed, like I said, 2016 to, uh, 2019, played in 13 games, but yeah, the two games in 2020 and 2022, he played in four. Yeah, again, he's dealt with a lot of injuries, and, um, that definitely could rear its ugly head this upcoming season. So, again, the Jets are gonna have to, you know, have some depth on the offensive line as well, which, again, you figure, you know, in the draft, they're gonna maybe draft an offensive lineman, um... I mean, I think with what they've done, with their pick, they might take one of these receivers. You know, whether it's uh, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is not going to be there. So it's probably going to be, you know, maybe Malik Neighbors, um, you know, Adunze. It's going to be one of those guys, maybe. I mean, we'll see. Um, Brock Bowers, I know, has gotten um, some, uh, there's some rumors out there that maybe he falls to the Jets. They end up taking him. So, um, but listen, the offensive line, 
that is the most important thing going into well again Aaron Rodgers is very important as well um but yeah him being healthy and the offensive line being able to protect him that together is the most important thing going into next year now I know Aaron Rodgers has been in the news lately for uh, a couple of different things which I'm not going to get into um but you know that makes a lot of people question his commitment to the team yeah um but we'll see um but yeah if Rodgers is healthy and he's got a, you know protection on the offensive line i mean i know he's 40 years old but you know i'm expecting him to you know at least put the jets in good position to win games and then be a better team than they were in 2023 now I have a lot of friends that are Jet fans, co-workers. Uh, they're not confident going into next season. And I'm not very confident either. And I was someone that, you know, wanted to see Rodgers go out there and play well because I feel like a lot of people forgot how good he is. And, of course, four plays into the game against the Bills, he ends up tearing his Achilles and... Everything I feared happened, you know, it, 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 and it was very deflating to watch because again, that's a player, regardless of what you think about him off the football field, he's a guy that I've loved watching since, you know, really I started watching football, you know, he's been one of my favorite players and I want to see him go out on somewhat of a high note. Now, again, I don't know. I don't think he's going to win another Super Bowl. I think that kind of set sail years ago, but I want to see him at least go out there, have a good season, and whatever happens, happens. If he ends up losing in the playoffs, so be it. You know, you lose in a shootout to the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead, and you retire. I'd look, I'd rather see him go out like that than, you know, four plays, and he's done for the year. So, um, you know, but again, have to fix this offensive line, and the Jets have done that. You know, but, I mean, of course, we got to see how it meshes together and if these guys stay healthy but you at least got to give joe douglas credit that he went out and tried to fix this offensive line which is something that's been a problem for the jets for years and it's the same problem with the team across the hall the new york giants so both of these teams have been trying to fix this offensive line for so long well let's see if they finally uh were able to do that um but again, this also affects the Cowboys because they really have not done anything in this offseason. Again, I, I mean, I, I talked about this last week, but, you know, they signed Eric Hendricks, a linebacker. They re-signed their long snapper, but you lost some guys. You lost some guys in the offensive line now. You know, you lost Tony Pollard. This draft is going to be huge for them because they're going to have to address basically all their needs in the draft, unless maybe they trade for somebody that we and we don't see it coming. But... Yeah, now you lost your left tackle. So, again, this is going to be a big draft for the Cowboys. It's going to be a big draft for the Jets, too, because, again, I, I think you need to continue to, you know, add depth to this offensive line. But, again, you want to get Aaron Rodgers some more weapons um, because, obviously, you're expecting big things out of Brees Hall, again, going to now into his third season. Garrett Wilson, you know, you hope that with Aaron Rodgers, a full year of him, that he could really show you what he can do. Um, you pay down Lazard all that money, you know, you're hoping that he could bounce back because that signing does not look very good right now. Um, but again, they did that because Rodgers was coming to the Jets. Same thing with Nathaniel Hackett. They could tell us whatever they want, but we know this is why they did, uh, they did all these things because they wanted to, you know, appease Aaron Rodgers and say, Hey, come here. We got your guys. Um, so, um, so, yeah, I, I think you got to add another weapon to this team. Um, a, we, a, a weapon or two would be nice. Because, um, you know, the defense, I mean, again, they lost Bryce Huff, uh, one of their key guys on defense, you know, to the Eagles. Uh, so now as a Giant fan, we got to deal with him uh, twice a year. But the defense, for the most part, is still intact. So, um, and I think they also, they did lose Jordan Whitehead. He actually went back to Tampa Bay. Uh, the Tampa Bay Bakes, or no, Tampa Bake. That's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's what we're calling it. Calling it Tampa Bay. We went from Tampa Bay to now Tampa Bay. 
So Jordan Whitehead went back to uh, to Tampa. So um, yeah, we'll see. I I don't know if the Jets uh made made any signings. Um, actually, they might have did. I could, I could be wrong though. Actually, no, I'm I'm thinking of the Steelers, because I know uh Deshaun Elliott he signed with the team, and he's one uh, he's a safety. But yeah, 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 he signed with the Steelers. So I don't know why I thought the Jets signed him. But yeah, he went to the Steelers. So. But yeah, for the most part, the Jets' defense is still intact. So, um, I mean, the offense, listen, if the offense was competent last year, I mean, this team, you know, they'd be right there for a playoff spot. But, you know, it's just the offense was a major problem. And, you know, if you could get a healthy Rodgers and give him protection, I mean, I think he's still got, he's still got something left in the tank. You know, I, I refuse to think he doesn't. Um, but again, he's coming off of a significant knee injury or leg injury. So, you know, we'll see how he bounces back. Um, you know, him and Kirk Cousins both suffered the same injury, but again, I mean, Kirk Cousins is still in his thirties. Rogers is 40 years old, but you know, I, and I don't want to doubt him. You know, I, I might be in the minor. I'm just going to be in the minority and just say, I think he'll, he'll bounce back, but it's not it doesn't come with it also comes with me crossing my fingers that he doesn't you know hurt himself again because again i, I want to see him go out on somewhat of a high note but again only time will tell but you know what the jets they at least addressed one of the biggest weaknesses of the team and that is the offensive line and again like i said but crossing your fingers you got to cross your fingers that these guys stay healthy because again tyron smith is a guy that has been injured a lot over the last couple of seasons and you're probably not going to get a full season out of him you know you might i mean you hope he plays there if you if he plays 13 games i mean you're going to be doing cartwheels you don't want to see him playing you know like i said he played four games i think the previous season yeah you you want to see this guy play close to a full season um, cause if not, you know, listen, you got a 40, 40 year old quarterback sitting behind him, um, behind that line. You do not want a repeat of opening night against the bills. I don't think anybody wants that. Um, but, but we'll see. Um, but I, I think you got to at least be maybe just a little, little optimistic about what the jets did. You know, I, I think it, I mean, we'll see what happens, but they address the offensive line. Let's see what they do in the draft. And hopefully uh, this is take two of Roger's stint with the Jets. Um, but again, like I, like I keep saying, only time will tell. So with that being said, we are going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back, we will talk about uh, some wide receiver moves. Also, we'll talk about Mike Williams as well. He's he was set to meet with a with a few teams, so we'll get into that. And one of those teams we literally just talked about. So that is what we are going to do when we come back from our uh, final break of the show. So with that being said, stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 